Good morning. Now, most of you who know me know that I'm not a big drinker at all. In fact, I've got the constitution of a 12-year-old. I bet my younger nephew could out drink me. So most of the time when I do go out, especially when I was a lot younger, I love going to coffee shops. I think everybody should have their own coffee shop where you go in, they know what you drink, socialize, talk about issues of the day. In fact, it goes as far back as the ancient times in Ethiopia that people kind of chilled at coffee shops. Of course, my coffee shop right now is Bertie's Coffee House down here on uh, Main Street in Westminster. Uh, when I had just gotten out of the Navy and I moved to Hilo, Hawaii, it was definitely Bear's Coffee Shop. If you're in Hilo, Hawaii, get to Bear's, get some coffee, and just relax. Um, in Baltimore, I miss a cafe called Funk's Cafe. Had open mic nights with poetry and comedy and everything else. Um, it's just a great place to kind of chill out and be yourself without being an a-hole or a douche or whatever else. So I thought I'd kind of talk with some, uh, some of my friends over at Birdie's uh, on, you know, coffee shop etiquette. The do's, the don'ts, just the very basics of, you know, what goes down at a coffee shop. And, and uh, these tips I've got for you, I think it'll help you out. But definitely support your local independent coffee houses. No disrespect to any of the chains at all. None at all. Okay. They are very convenient at times. But just like anything else, convenience is only short term. True happiness comes with two things. A, fall in love. And B, find a black Jesus. Huh. Anyways, check it out.